of two game three between Elvalon and Savior Young. So now the score is 2 0 in favor of Elvalon. So we'll see how good these guys can actually play this. Really impressive play so far from both teams, but Elvalon just, just always like they just have that edge on Savior Young. Looks like we are going, going to be on the hybrid map of Hollywood this time. So. There? This is the best of five, so if Elvalon does take this map victory, looks like the championship will go to Elvalon. Meantime, though, we can expect maybe a reverse sweep from Savior Young, and we'll see if we're gonna have two more maps after this. Meantime, though, we do have Elvalon on defense, and we have Savior Young on the offense. And we do have Legend on the Zenyatta, the Strain on the Diva, Script 1 on the McCree, Savior on the Mercy, Zest on the Reinhardt, and Jungunji on the Junkrat with the Strain switching to the Zarya instead. On the other hand, we have Livgir on the Diva, Titicorn on the Mercy, A on the Lucio, like Collis on the Winston, Anna on the McCree, and waiting on Saya to actually pick his character. Oh, that'll do fine. Thank you guys for everyone tuning in so far. The action of the Niwaka Christmas Invitational. This is the Grand Finals. We had eight teams a while ago. Now we only have two. Elvalon of Singapore and Savior Young of Thailand. And here we go. We're going into Hollywood. So we do have Savior Young just going inside us. Decide to go for the Genji this time. So we might see a different kind of Genji play here from Saya. I haven't seen him play Genji all tournament. I mean, while Jungaji just putting down the pressure with the Junkrat. Good play so far here from Elvalon. And now it forces Savior Young to actually go to the top part. And Elvalon responds by moving to their other building, the diner actually. I don't know if it's actually a diner, but now we do have someone on the point as. We do have Script 1 contesting for Elvalon. In the meantime, let's go to Sire right now, trying to get a few hits, but Junkajin gets a kill onto Ana. So that's minus one already for Savior Young's offense. The good play here so far from Elvalon, keeping their defense in a really impressive position. We do have Zest, however, just knocking them back. And Junkajin gets a kill onto Sire. Like, Legend getting a kill onto Titicorn as well. So. The Resurrect is cancelled and Jungiji with the Junkrat doing so much work with his grenades. In the meantime, Savior trying to get some ult charge and actually does get it with the Valkyrie is available. Script 1 is also ready with the Dead Eye, so two ultimates are available for both teams. And Olivia switches once again to the Zarya. We now have Anna on the Soldier 76 as well. So they're gonna play a slightly longer range battle here. And with the Star you're getting some energy from the Junkrat, it might actually work out in favor of Savior Young. We do have like all this now on the right heart. We got Jungaji unleashes the rip tire. This thing is so strong nowadays, guys. Going for Anna and they almost fell as well. In the meantime, we have Titicorn does not use the Valkyrie as the Zenyatta Transcendence has been used offensively. Here we go, the offensive trans Val Valkyrie is there for Saya, but Titicorn falls to Script 1. But Script 1 gets punished by it immediately without the strength. Almost ready with the Graviton Surge. And Jungunji and Zes both get kills onto the enemy team. We now have Savior with the Resurrect on Script 1. So good play so far from the Mercy. So it's been two minutes past. The attack of Savior Young and they still haven't captured even the first stick. So Elvalon putting on a clinic with their defense. So we'll stay on the straight for a bit, waiting to see how he's gonna use the Graviton Surge. And 100% energy available for the straight. Jungunji with the kill onto Anna. Anna rendered ineffective heavily by Jungunji. Jungunji just getting those kills each and every time onto Anna. We do have a kill though on Savior, so Anna getting the clutch kill, and this is just enough for Savior Young to go for it. But here comes the Earth Shatter combination, does not connect after the Graviton Surge. And looks like Savior Young is capturing the point here so far. Jungunji so far away as Olivier and the Strain clash against one another. We do have Saya ready with the Dragon Blade, but 
it's not necessary as Elphalon does concede the first point and the payload has been activated so no no shutdown there from Elphalon Jungenji and Saya do spot each other on top of the buildings General Store is providing cover however for Saya that's now protecting his Junkrat so good play so far from the players of Xavier Young and we do have the Riptar coming in from Jungkuji once again and Anna this time actually gets the kill onto it Saya is getting into position for the Dragon Blade gets healed up by the Mercy so far Jungkuji just unleashing some more and here comes the Dragon Blade after the Graviton Surge but the Transcendent is there that block there from Saya don't get Gets trip one destroyed to so Anna now with the tactical visor, however, but the strain gets the kill onto him. We do have the two tanks trying to defend the payload, but in on the back line, we have Saya just zoops in with the Genji. Saya does fall to Zarya, however, and now the Reinhardt of like all is going ham onto the strain. The strain falls to himself, and looks like the payload my is God, on the way once journey. again. Like, like Call is now just keeping the payload alive, keeping the payload and his teammates alive. I mean, the push is on the way and it is coming close to the second checkpoint of Hollywood. We do have Saya now spotting out and getting the kill on Jungunji. The train is ready with the Graviton Surge as well. So we'll see how the Graviton is going to be used as the Reinhardt falls. And here comes the Valkyrie, unleashes it, but the Valkyrie actually gets the Mercy away. So Titicorn is in the safe distance right now. Here comes the charge on the take, getting the Transcendence away. It's a good play there from the Reinhardt of Zest. But Zest falls for his Martyrdom and Legend falls as well. So two down for Elvalion right now. And there we go. We do have the strain falling to Anna. So Saiyan with the Deflect going for the Script 1 Soldier 76. And looks like the point is conceded by Elvalon. Ooh, Zess gets chased down as he's charging away and Xavier Young gets a stagger onto the Reinhardt, even on the Zenyatta. So good place so far from Xavier Young. Unlucky response for Elvalon there. So we do have Legend ready with the Transcendence, however, and so is the Earthshatter of Lycolis, the Dragon Blade of Saya, and the Tactical Visor of Ana. So, so far, we do have Anna trying to go in a better position in the high ground. In the meantime, though, we do have like oh, let's win the Earth Shatter connecting onto the Reinhardt. Past him, he gets the charge on to Zest. In the meantime, Anna has unleashed Tactical Visor and has used it for a team kill onto Elvalon. A good play so far from Savior Young. Savior Young taking the opportunity to actually move into riskier areas. And Soldier 76 has two spot out each other. And Script 1 unleashes the tactical visor, but it's not enough. Elf Legend now still not using the transcendence. There it is, Jungle G with the kill. But here comes a Graviton Surge from the Zarya of Olivia Titicard, keeping everyone alive. And now Saya with the Dragon Blade in con conjunction with the air chatter of like Gollis. Like Gollis getting kills, well. but now Jungle G now. With the Dragon Blade gets killed all the day. It's like him and the Winston of Zest are the only hopes for Elvalon's defense. And the Mercy falls as well. And looks like Xavier Young captures the full capture of Hollywood. Amazing place there from Xavier Young. That last push right there from the third point was so clinical. An amazing symphony of ultimates coming in from Xavier Young. So we now have Elvalon on the attack and Xavier Young on the defense. There we go. So we'll see if Elvalon can actually commit a better time against Xavier Young. So they have the advantage for the second round. Or will Xavier Young defend this Hollywood map to keep the series alive? So Hollywood, quite a popular map for many players and Rose alike because it's actually a very nice map to begin. You have on the attack Legend on the Zenyatta, the Strain on the Zarya, Script 1 on the Soldier 76, Savior on the Mercy Zest on the Reinhardt, and he's waiting on Jung and G to pick his hero. On the other hand, we have Saya on the Roadhog, like Collis on the Winston Tay, 
on the Lucia, Titicorn on the Mercy, Olivier on the Diva, and Anna is on the Soldier Sense Sticks as Jungle D switches to the Roadhog. And Legend is on the Lucia this time. So once again, Elvalon going for a 3 tank lineup with the Daria now, the Reinhardt, and the Roadhog. On the other hand, we do have the Roadhog Winston, Diva from Savior Young. So 3 tanks for both teams and Diana. I mean, the soldier of Anna is script 1. You know what's the problem with people who have same names as some heroes? It's kind of confusing. And now we do have Titty Court on the Anna. At the same time, Anna is on the soldier sense. So we'll see if we don't mess up here as Legend also switches to the Anna. So the Anna is a very good pick for tank compositions alongside the Mercy for all that healing because these guys have such huge health pools. And Cyan now gets hooked up by the Roadhog of Jungunji. And here comes a Biotic Grenade and Anna now gets destroyed. I guess to destroy Script 1 in their Soldier vs. Soldier matchup. That hook, however, from Saya does bring back Zest. So 3 down for Savior Young so far. And Saya gets destroyed also by that Biotic Grenade from Legend in conjunction with the scatter shots from Jungunji. So both teams know what they have to do. Biotic Grenades can be used offensively for no healing or for that extreme healing. With the healing boost as Jungkuji has to run away because he couldn't heal himself through that biotic grenade. And now Jungkuji is ready with the Hul hog and gets a hook and doesn't get the kill however onto Diana and he falls like all this now with the nano boosted Winston in courtesy of Titicorn. And now we have Sayer with the Valkyries. Saya actually misses Jungkuji right there going for it. Anna now with the tactical visor trying to get the mercy but Actually, Zess doing so much work, tanking up the shots, but he does fall, however. And now Anna and the rest of his team getting a good defense right there, pushing back Elvalon. So, you can see that Zess was trying so hard to protect his Mercy, but it was it was a little too much damage coming it down from the Soldier 76. And now, we do have the Nano Visor ready for Savior Young, so we'll see. I mean, for Elvalon, so we'll see how Savior Young is gonna respond to this. And that Sleep Guard onto Zest at home and actually gets the kill. Doesn't get the kill. Now Zest does spawn. And here comes the Nano Visor from Script 1. The Soundfire doing some work against it, but that's not enough. It's actually all the tax damage doing the work for Savior Young's defense. Higher getting the kill onto Script 1 as well. The Strain is ready with the Graviton as he also gets killed onto Saya. Like Gaulis does jump away after he is spotted by the Zarya and now we have Zest right there protecting against the wind Nano Winston but here comes the self-destruct on the backline and now Anna it has been Graviton surge but is that enough? Anna does fall and here comes Zest with the charge misses like Gaulis who is trying to do something in the backline in the meantime though Legend is in the middle of everything as Scripton gets a kill onto like Gaulis and that Earth Shatter though getting forced alongside a Biotic Grenade amazing play there from Zest d is there, Oliver is knocked out, and looks like Elvalon can actually capture this point now. Anna, it has been spotted by Script 1. Is he going to use the Tactical Visor out of Malice? No, Anna and Script 1 just trying to out mechanical skill each other. Anna almost falls, and looks like someone actually gets hooked. Jungkuji does get hooked by Saya, so Jungkuji is the one in the back, on the back foot right now. He is Biotic Grenaded, will he fall? Not yet. Ooh, a Biotic shot from the Anna almost takes him down, but not enough. And Elvalon is now pushing the point as the straight switches to the Widowmaker. In the meantime, we do have a Legend with the Nano who's available. Script 1 has the Tactical Visor and Savior has the Valkyrie. In the meantime, Anna can respond with his own Tactical Visor. But will it be enough as the straight is trying to put some pressure on to the defending side of Savior Young? And save Savior Young notices that Elvalon has actually abandoned the payload right now to do their push. In the meantime, Anna has unleashed the tactical visor, getting a kill onto the Anna of Legend. And actually gets a few more hits on the script one. Here comes a charge and it does go there. This train now trying to get killed onto Anna, but Anna just dodges with some crouches like all this gets a kill onto Jungkunji. It looks like Savior Young has beaten back Elvalon once again. Savior with the Resurrect, however, on the Jungle So, interesting play right there from the Mercy of Elvalon. Script 1 is 
ready with the nano with the tactical visor and so is the nano boost from legend and then there we go they get the kill on to anna but here comes the tactical visor right now coming in from strip one he is nano boosted right there trying to find the lucia and he gets the kill on to olympia lucia has been kept alive by the zarya however and now the sleep guard it looks like strip one actually gets no he doesn't like all this does get poisoned down though as they get the kill on to legend this straight now with the headshot on to the Anna Aster is a hook onto Lucia once again. Widowmaker gets hooked down by the Roadhog of Saya, but he gets back and the payload isn't moving once again. So even though Elvalon's doing so much work, Savior Young hasn't actually given up so much ground. Test now with the Earth Shatter almost available, and so is Jungunji. Alright, the Bullhog is available for him. The straight though getting a headshot. On today, sadly we missed that, but there you go! The Widowmaker Clinic is on, but he gets shut down by the Tick Guard with the Sleep Guard. But the grenade is rendered ineffective, and sadly, like Gaulis did have his shield out, and this train has free rim to actually kill everyone with the Widowmaker alongside Script 1, Soldier 76. So Evelon now here on the third part, spots out Anna. Is Anna gonna get shot? No, Script 1 though does spot out the Lucio of Tay, and Tay falls as well. So now, <laughs> fire strike coming in from like all this, but like all this barely reaches them. So no ultimate charge right there for the Reinhardt. So we have three ultimates available, and Jungkuji just sleeping in the middle. Not a good time for that road dog. Now we do have Saya also available. The whole hug of Savior Young. The strength though just counters out all the sneakiness Script One was trying to do and with the infrasight though. The Infrasight doing more than just giving you a wall hack. Just punishes anyone who tries to do anything sneaky. And Olivia with the Gravit on the Surge going in. But Cess gets a kill on to like all this. And we do have Script 1 once again with the Nano Visor. Looks like Elvalon does have Savior Young's number here in this clash. Anna does get away. But we do have Tinticorn falling. And so does Anna on the Soldier 76. Like all this tries to charge, but he does not make it. And. Elvalon captures a full capture as well with a better time than Savior Young. So it looks like Savior Young will do the first attack in the second round of attack and defense here on Hollywood. So I just want to quick, quick shout out to everyone watching. I can't believe so many people have tuned in to the Nuwaka Christmas Finals, thank you to Nuwaka Productions for this opportunity to cast the games. Thank you to the eight teams invited to have participated in this Christmas Cup. Especially that Christmas is coming, guys, in two days. So thank you guys for all your time. And it's going to be a very, very happy holidays for everyone. But I guess it'll be even happier if Elvalon can actually defend this against Savior Young and secure a 3-0 sweep. To take the grand prize in the Nuwaka Invitational Christmas Cup. In the meantime, though, we do have Savior Young trying to keep their chances alive. So we do have Legend on the Zenyatta, this train on the Zarya script one, on the Soldier 76, Soldier Savior on the Mercy, Zest on the Reinhardt, and Jungenji on Junkrat. On the other hand, Anna is on the Soldier 76, Olivia on the Zarya, Tinty Card on the Mercy, Tay on the Lucio, like all is on the Reinhardt, and Saya on the Road Dog. And here we go. We have Savior Young once again trying to go for it. Trying to keep their series alive in their last attack here on the second round of Hollywood. No more second chances right here for Savior Young. We do have Jung Ji putting out so much pressure once again with his traps, with the concussive mines. In the meantime, though, Anna is on the high ground, but Jung Ji gets a kill on stage. In the meantime, Legend just keeping Anna pinned down to good play right there from the Zenyatta so far. Jungaji almost has the rip tire available, and there it is. The instrument of his destruction, but Zesto does get hooked, and this is the perfect time for the rip tire to come. No, everyone is actually far away though, and Anna falls to the rip tire. The Tikorn though does unleash the Valkyrie, gets a resurrect onto the Reinhardt. Sadly, he cannot resurrect Anna Soldier 76 so far. 10, 12 seconds available for Soldier. Savior Young once again, and now here comes Zest. With the Earth Shatter and Saya has been knocked back so far away. And then so many ultimates are coming in. The Gravitan Surge rendered ineffective by both the Transcendence and Valkyrie. And we do have like Gaulis sadly also rendered inefficient. 
by the supports of Elbalon. So good play here from Savior and Legend. Elbalon just defends it clinically. And ooh, we're gonna have to pause in the meantime for that disconnect. Quick little pause right here as we did have Saya for Saya and God sadly disconnecting at the end of that. So maybe it was a factor in their slightly lackluster offense right there. It wasn't as potent as their first push in the first round of Hollywood. So we now can see Elvalon just inch away from the championship here in the Nuaha Christmas Cup. Just one tick for them to take home the grand prize. And Xavier Young will have to do everything in their power to stop that, including waiting on the disconnected Tyan. Yes, Tyan Jin God. Yeah. So I just want to give a quick shout out to everyone who has tuned into the stream and also to the following overrush the ph community thank you guys for getting a lot of the filipino members out and about to actually watch the stream it started at 10 a.m guys and we it's already 2 p.m so we've been at this for around five hours and thank you guys for tuning in especially to everyone who has been here from start to finish also yeah. shout out to that wonderful raid getting in so many viewers thank you so much to Pitsy for that 70 viewer raid honestly it means a lot to not only me but to Nuwaka for people checking out their uh, tournament I mean sadly I don't have Twitch alerts on during these kinds of events because we do use these VODs for historical purposes not only for casting but for the research of both teams so thank you to the Thank you to Fitzy. So do we have Elvalon on their last attack? Legend is on the Lucio. The Strain is on the Diva Script 1 on the Genji. Savior on the Mercy. Zest on the Winston. And Junkanji on the Fire. So we're gonna see a fire this time. Maybe to surprise Savior Young, who does have Sword Sense 6 and Ana. Olivia on the Zarya. Titicorn on the Ana. Tay on the Lucio. Like Collis on the Reinhardt. Saya on the Roadhog. Sadly, there is no Mercy here from Savior Young. So this is literally their last shot. Anyone who does die, there is no second chance. And while I do prefer seeing no Mercy, Mercy's Resurrect is such a potent and important figure in Overwatch right now. Very polarizing, but here we go. Elvalon just going in. And as I was saying, that Mercy does fall to the Reinhardt like all this. In the meantime, those deaths getting killed onto Ana. But looks like Saber Young is actually gonna hold this against the first push of Elvalon. Jungiji almost gets hooked back as well. So good play there so far. From Savior Young. We do have Zest now jumping in, keeping the line with the Winston in front alongside the Diva of the Strain. The two tanks doing so much work so far. The whole series, and we'll see if they can actually get anything done right there. Now we go to script one, going for Ana. So is the Winston. Ana is really low, and Soldier 76 falls us first blood right there in this clash. No ultimates are available right there, except for like all this 99%. Can he stay alive to actually use it? There you go. Earth Shatter is available, so is Saviors. Valkyrie, sadly. Like all this misses the Earth Shatter script one now, just going for how with the Genji and that. Sandfire from Tay keeps everyone alive for how long, however. And we do have Saya with the Hul Hug trying to get time to knock everyone back. Legend getting killed though. And we do have the Rocket Barrage and the Dragon Blade from Elvalon. Looks like this is it, guys. And Elvalon takes the series 3 to 0 and are the champions of the Niwaka Christmas Cup. Amazing, amazing, amazing play there from Elvalon. Playing so well, just that. Delay with the ultimates when they both had their Dragon Blade and Tactical Visor. Everyone just started falling left and right. So good play there from Elvalon, but also Savior Young putting on such a great fight. Congratulations to Elvalon. So wow, guys, Elvalon not only are your Open Division Season 3 champions, but are also are your 
Niwaka Christmas Cup champion. So thank you guys for tuning in. It's been a pleasure casting all day. I've been Dax. Uh, you know, check out my panels down there. If you guys would leave a like on my Facebook page, I do have a giveaway right now just before Christmas. So go check that out. So it's been a pleasure here. Been casting from Macau, your Filipino correspondent right here. Thanks, guys. See you guys soon.